Oh, if you want to buy stuff, I'm going to get one for Sunday after this. Saturday, I'm going to stand up Saturday afternoon. Sure. Everything on my list. I'm not here. I'm not here. How's it going, y'all? It hasn't popped up yet? No. Yeah, just, uh, we're live right now. Oh. Hi. Hey, folks. Who we have here? We got uh, David's here. Sharona's here. Or, uh, Sharon's here. Uh, SC GoTo's in the house. The walk begins. Can y'all hear me all right with my mask on? The, the public? So nice to have a walkthrough again after so long. Yeah. That's Tall Tony. Hey, Tall Tony. How's the how's the table going? It's going fine. Made a couple bucks. <laughs> Loud and clear. Okay, good. Good. All right. Well, I'm gonna start at the beginning. I'll see y'all later. Okay. Find some cool stuff. Yeah, we're yes. just playing. Okay, they're playing with pens. We'll, maybe we'll see them later. Okay, so uh, this is the Triangle Pin Show. It has been a while since we had a pin show. What's going on over here? There's, there's some women. What are we, is this from, is this from me? Nope. This is a draw. This yes, is one of the important. giveaways. This is a giveaway? Yes. 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 This I is, want that. There's a very nice uh, provider of it. Three of them. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Go ahead and put my name on, on that one. Yes. Isn't that nice of them? Yeah. Is this a uh, is this for uh, just the door prize? Yes. 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 Tomorrow yes. we're nice. going to give away two of these, and tomorrow or Sunday we'll give away one. It's a seven hundred and sixty-five dollar MSRP Pilot fountain pen called a Shimi. Very nice. And Pilot has been generous enough to donate three of them. So that is pretty great. We'll have to mention it to Pilot when I go by. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So, come on down. Are we live? Oh yeah. Good day, good. <laughs> All right, so uh, for y'all that have uh, not been to one of these uh, live walkthrough videos before, uh, I'm going to start here at the beginning. We're going to walk through the show. I'll introduce you to some folks. Uh, perhaps they'll have a little something to say and tell you about their, uh, their wares and whatnot. I will tell Sandra that y'all said hi. <laughs> Lots of those. I will. Uh, oh, sciatic nerve ties you down. I got a lot of cool knives at my table, Jeremy. We'll show you those here in a bit. Did the Omos get sold? Not yet. Um, so, um, I, we're going to do a little walkthrough, uh, and uh, it's a little—it's kind of dead in there, which is good. Uh, the show actually goes until technically 7 tonight. I don't know if I'm going to stay that long. Um, we had some excitement getting to the show today. Um, Audrey, uh, Audrey had a tire blowout on, uh, on her car about five minutes from here on the highway, and so she, said, she was calling me, and I, I used the, the iPhone find your family thing to find her on the side of the highway, and we had to change her tire. Uh, it was uphill. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So um, she was, uh, it, was a, it was a rough start to the day for sure, but things are good now. And uh, so uh, let's go take a look at the pin show, huh? Uh, now, I will probably miss some of the chat stuff. Um, go ahead, say hi to Rich from River City, three of his pens. Oh, interesting. Um, so I probably will miss some chat. Um, she's fine. She, uh, she managed to get to the side of the highway just fine, so she did well. Um, anyway, I'll probably miss some chat because I'll be looking at stuff. So uh, if it's important, do hit it again in the, in the comments. But also, don't be too surprised if I miss some stuff uh, because that's, uh, that's probably going to happen. Hey, Shep. All right. Let me get my, my mask fixed here. There we go. Uh, now, how do I flip this around? There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. But who else has managed to get to the live stream? Currently in the hospital. Goodness, Ben. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, so, what patron level is that? Oh, what's that? Where I change your tire? <laughs> so, uh, this is the entryway that you'll walk into. We're kind of uh, just down the hall from the front uh, front of the place. Uh, so you walk in here. Don't forget to uh, register for this door prize here because the door prize is uh, one of those pilot ashimis that uh, we were just showing. There will be two of those given away tomorrow on Saturday and one on Sunday. So if you're coming by the show, make sure you sign in for that, register for it. Then, you know, hit that, hit that sanitizer station. Uh, there are, uh, oh, these are the, these are going to go over our tables at night so we don't have to take everything down. Have a, what's going on over here? 
Uh, these are the pens which are going to be the auction Saturday night. Oh, okay, good. Yes, people will look at them. Maybe then you won't get glare. <laughs> Very nice. These are the auction pens. Uh, there's always an auction, vintage style auction on uh, Saturday nights. So it's these two cases? Yes, these two cases. Very cool. Most of these pens are, uh, they were Mr. John Hall, who's no longer with us. Oh, wow. And uh, okay. at the request of uh, his wife. Nice. So rather than going on uh, eBay or someplace, they came here and they will be sold here right with a modest 10% uh, buyer's premium. Yep. Which is a lot better than an awful lot of auctions. <laughs> I always manage to forget about it until the very end. <laughs> oh. A lot. 27% oh, yeah. buyer's premium yeah, plus that's shipping. Uh huh. I'd rather do it in person anyway. It's yeah. more fun. Oh, All right. cool. Very cool. And it'll be right here. Yep. Uh, we, have the, uh, we usually have the auction down here at this end. Uh, down there. There's Dave. We have Sandra here hanging out at the front desk. We got Terry Mayhorter who runs the show here. You will give him your money when you get here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I told him. We've got some great door prizes. Yep. We've got some good works. we got a good workshop going on tomorrow. That's the uh, Fantasy Snorkels by John Bedard at, uh, I believe it's what, 1 o'clock tomorrow? Oh yeah, yep. Got a couple of uh, got a couple of yeah. things going on. Joe's got a thing. Pang is teaching copper plate, uh, so come by and learn some skills. Are you working the table, Sandra? I am. The registrations have come on in. Yep. Come give Sandra your money. Yes, give me all the money. I'll buy the Franklin Christophs. There you go. Sandra has some Franklin Christophs to uh, to to pay off, I guess. Yes, I have one. Oh, just one? Just one. Oh, the restraint. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, this is kind of where we started with uh, my friends uh, Beth and Brian hanging out playing with pens. A bunch of good tables there for uh, for chilling out. And then this is the main ballroom. And as I said, it's pretty uh, it's pretty dead in here right now. It was a little bit hopping earlier on today. There were uh, you know pretty pretty typical Friday uh, crowd, which is not super heavy but not super light. Scott Franklin is in the house, or he was. Now he's leaving. <laughs> so. Uh, here, as you first come in the door, you turn the corner and you have Tasha with Sujin and Hey, how's it going? And they have all kinds of very cool stuff here, including uh, Arushi pens of various kinds, interesting shaped pens. These are these are fountain pens right here that are shaped like katanas in the uh, in the, the scabbard. And I think this one's particularly cool looking. Some faceted pens. Sakura. Mountain Sakura. And they do have some they do have some inks down here. So my current favorite ink they have a couple of. I already bought one, so it's safe for you to come and get one if you want. Uh, which is this uh, Savvy Midori here in the blue case there. Where is it? We're in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Yep. But really beautiful. That's the art that inspires the uh, the inks themselves, which you'll probably recognize a little bit. All right, cool. So come by and see Tasha. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Here we have we have a little dog who is not being paid attention to. <laughs> Here we have. Hi, folks. We're live on YouTube, showing people what's going on at the pen show. Corner, you got some back stock space. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, look at that ever sharp case. Yeah, there you go. Take Ooh. I, I, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I don't not need it. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if it's here on Sunday, and then maybe we're gonna talk. <laughs> Thanks very much, folks. Let's see where do I want to go. Well, I don't want to go this way. We got Alan. What's this? This is my phone. We're on YouTube, Alan. How are you doing? Okay. I, no, I was just wondering. I never saw the, the holders. Or yeah, this holds the microphone in there. Uh, I put it up there, but I want to be able to point it at people, you know? <laughs> so uh, let's kind of go down the aisles a little bit and then hit the outside ring, I think. You see a lot of vintage stuff and a lot of personal collections here at Raleigh. They're, um, 
The show is a little bit smaller this year than it has been in the past. Uh, these are Rich's things here. <laughs> There's Rich. Lots of vintage things to try out. All kinds of pelicans and whatnot there in that case. And here we have a, uh, a uh, uh, platinum set of testers. We'd like to see what a UEF feels like or some such thing. You can come and check them out here at the front. Me? No, I'm, uh, I'm brand new to all this pen stuff, Alan. That's, uh, I'm trying to, trying to learn as I go. No. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> this guy's been seeing me at pen shows for almost 10 years. And he's like, oh, you know, you might not have seen a pen before. <laughs> Is it, you have anything here you particularly want people to see? Anything kind of cool? Well, it's all cool. I know. I know. It's all wonderful stuff. <laughs> I've seen a very, very need, artistic uh, rocker blotter. What I need somebody uh -huh. to buy all of it. Just all of it. One shot. There you go. <laughs> One guy with a big checkbook. <laughs> like a novelty checkbook, I think is what you want. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's come by and see Alan. He's got all kinds of cool vintage things, including, oh, look at that. That is. Uh, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> what am I bringing you? This is the Triangle Pin Show, Ruth. Uh, let's go ahead and get the other side too. We have the pilot and Miki area. You can't run, man. Can't run. <laughs> this is Bill. How's it going, Bill? It's been a good day. Right on. Uh, these are these are, I believe, these are the Ashimi pens, like what you've exactly. uh, donated for the uh, the, the door prize. Yeah, door yep. prize. These right here. Very cool. Sometimes. This is a live YouTube. If there's anything in particular you'd like people to know about, this would be a good time to... Oh, uh, we've got the two new colors of Custom 74, the green and the grenadine. That red looks really nice. It is a I very like that nice a lot. Color. Yep. And the 74. Can't go wrong with the 74. And some Pilot Customs. Right. Those big customer rushies. This is the new Peony, the newest uh, Machia piece. Really beautiful. Yeah. I did a Daruma on the blog or on the YouTube channel not too long ago. Oh, cool! It was really nice. That's a fun pen. This is the new limited edition. The Came this, out, the, uh, the this Tanuki. Is Tanuki. Yep. It yeah. Came the, out in April. the Peony is really fancy, oh, isn't it? Yeah. It is. That's gorgeous. I'm not. I'm not the biggest Machia fan, but sometimes, like the Peony, I think is really good. Yep. Yeah. It's, 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 you can't not like that. Uh, Custom 845. There's that Custom Arushi again, looking huge. You can now see it in scale with some other pens, like those 823s. There you go. You can find them right inside this front door. Thanks very much, Bill. And here we have uh, Crazy Allen's Emporium. There's Crazy Allen himself. Right there. How you doing? <laughs> Making deals. It's great to be back after 15 months. Mike is doing a great job here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you can see, uh, Alan actually has this whole row down here. This is all Alan Town. Uh, he's got uh, new stuff. He's got some vintage stuff. He's got uh, Lammies and Pilots and Sailors, Pelicans, all manner of things. Some of it, uh, some of it used. A lot of it new. It also has a lot of paper, so if you're looking for paper, this is kind of the place to come in here. Alan also has, especially at his shop, a massive uh, uh, collection of um, like single fountain or single pens, like these guys, and all kinds of things. Uh, I usually go there and just stock up on singles. So when you see the uh, a lot of the quick hits on my uh, channel about like you know look at this ballpoint or whatever, I've probably picked that up at Alan's. Or jet pens or something, but a lot of it at Allen's. So you got Claire Fontaine, you got some Lois Term, you got your Rodias, of course, and I have to stock up on some Rodia. I'm getting a little low. You got these Oasis notebooks. Let me tell you, Oasis notebooks are ones that you don't hear a whole lot about, and they are fantastic paper. I really like these Oasis a lot. I'm gonna show you the front pages of these because the the uh, the ruling is very cool. 
it's kind of a, an ivory sort of paper, but you can see the, the ruling. It's like little boxes. So you've got lines, you've got dots, you've got dashes. It's, uh, it's a very nice paper. I like this stuff a lot. Hi. How's it going, Tallulah? Selling some paper down here? Yeah. Other things? I've got the Oasis notebooks. I actually really love those a lot. They're really good, yeah, right? They're awesome. Yeah, I think people need to know more about those. Yeah, they they're do. Great. They do. And we, they also have like a, like a skinny version. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is like that, the, that is a skinny version. It nice. is, yeah. Well, Sometimes you don't want to commit to a thick notebook, no, you know? No, if you're just taking like a class or something, like... Yeah, and very fountain pen friendly as well. Works with all kinds of things. Yeah, it's like a fountain pen, but it's not coated, so right. it doesn't really like scratch or anything. It's yeah, good. yeah. I like it quite a lot. Also, uh, a pile of inks are down here. There's actually some gentle Granada uh, here as well, so come check that out, because Granada is a great and then uh, here we have, uh, this is Jimmy Dulles tables. Uh, let's see, which way do we want to go here? Uh, we'll come back that way, because he's got a lot to see. We've got Joe Nemechek here. How's it going, Joe? It's going, Mike. <laughs> Joe always brings some really cool pencils. He's giving some lectures on pencils this weekend, right? Yes, sir. And some really cool. Are these uh, letter openers on the end of pencils, or are these... There's letter openers. That one is a page holder there. Oh. What's the a very story about awkward. This one above it? Um, maybe a butter knife, a utility knife, or, in a fine dining room. Yeah, the one above that, like this one right here. It's kind of broad and it has like this piston-looking thing. That is a page oh, holder. Oh no, this one up here. Here, I'll point in. I'll point in the case. That thing. That is a champagne bottle with oh, really? a magic me mechanism because you pull oh. one end out and as if by magic, the working end pulls out from the other end. There's a lot of gearing in there. That's, I knew that was going to be cool. I'm glad I asked about that one. That's neat. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Yep. And come here. He's not selling these guys. These are, uh, these are for show and tell. You can get a pencil that looks like an axe. Everybody tells you pencils aren't cool, including me. They are wrong. <laughs> See you later, Joe. <laughs> we got Ross McKinney here. Ross has uh, been restoring and selling pens for quite a while. He's one of our locals. How's it going, Ross? Doing well, man. Doing well. Giving people the live show walk around. Good. Yeah, I've actually, I think it's been pretty nice. I've got a table back in the back there. Yeah, come see Ross. He's got great prices on these things. I've Ross has caught me a few times with things from his table for sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing well, thanks. I'm not familiar. Can you tell me about what you got here? Okay, so uh, this is what I call true card. Okay. Everything here is made from actual playing cards. That's right. Right on. You know, close up here. In case you couldn't hear them, these are made from all, uh, all made from actual playing cards. That's pretty cool. Thanks very much. Hey, how's it going, Joe? Doing well, thanks. Just showing people, uh, showing people around the show here. You can find Joe in this front row here, and he's got he's accepting commissions, and also selling vintage. Lots of Parkers, yeah. spanning like three decades at least, probably four decades of Parkers. Yeah. <laughs> so come find Joe, he's got the purple hair. <laughs> Easily findable, right here in the front room. Thanks Joe. Let's uh, go back down, oh, we, uh, we see we went this way. I'm getting lost in the room. Just kind of cruise around this direction. We got, uh, let's see. We got Bert Ozer here in the corner, as usual. Bert's selling mostly new stuff. You can also get your, uh, your pencils and such. Bert's also a really good resource for, um, Things like uh, like parts, converters, 
and uh, all your modern pens. So if you're looking for a refill, for your ball points, your roller balls, if you're looking for uh, clips, if you're looking for housings, uh, converters, all kinds of things like that. Sometimes he brings a whole wall full of refills, but uh, didn't bring it out, didn't schlep it out to this show because that would be quite the, uh, quite the endeavor. Then uh, over here, we have Deb Kinney, one of our nib grinders at the show. Currently working on a nib. She's also selling all kinds of things, including uh, pen cases, some, uh, some vintage pens, some uh, sort of modern pens, some ink, a little bit of everything here at Deb's table. Come see her. She's one of our locals. Great nib grinder. I have a few pens with her stuff uh, on it. I don't know what was under here. <laughs> They've already taken off. Sometimes late in the afternoon, people have already taken off. Um, let's see. Here we have uh, tables from uh, David and Carl. All kinds of vintage. Including a book of nibs. If you're looking for interesting nibs, you can flip through here. <laughs> this is Carl, by the way. <laughs> Watch out for this guy at the auction. He is a sniper at an auction, I tell you what. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> have, uh, River City Pen Company. Right here. I believe this is one uh, Carol was asking about earlier on today. <laughs> There's Carol. <laughs> Just talking with a group of youngsters here. They seem to be handmade. <laughs> I'll come by and say hi to him for you, Carol, in a little bit. I don't want to interrupt his, uh, his current sale activity. A couple more tables where people have uh, gone home for the day. Unfortunately, I probably should have done this earlier. <laughs> Some more modern, new in box, used. Oh, 300 for this very nice Kareen. It's got my friend Connor's name all over it. <laughs> all that gold bling. We <laughs> have some Esther books. Can't have a pin show without some good vintage Estherbrooks. Including this very cool desk pen. I love these sort of saucer style situations. I need more desk for my desk pin collection. <laughs> uh, and then we're kind of back at Jimmy's tables here. So Jimmy has a little bit of everything. He's. Uh, Oh, you wouldn't have been with us early. That's true. Jimmy's got everything from modern stuff to vintage stuff to super collectible things. Uh, Audrey might have gotten something off of his table earlier on today, so I better go back and sell a whole bunch of pen rests from my table. <laughs> He's got sailors, including this one that I haven't seen before, but has rotten ends and it has the stripes, like some of these anniversary ones, uh, the Arushi anniversary ones recently. Very fancy. He's uh, not here at the moment, so I can't ask him what it is, but check that pen out. Some S.T. DuPont, some Beatles, some, uh, I know, the stripes are pretty, pretty crazy, right? We got some real nice Mont Blanc limited editions here of various kinds. The extremely fancy stuff goes in the case. We need TARDIS offices. Yeah, that's right. You know that's right. Some more Mont Blancs and boxes. Jimmy doesn't tend to label his stuff, so you just have to ask him what things cost, and he'll uh, usually make you a pretty solid deal. Here's a customer Rushi. No, sorry, this is an, actually an 845, a Pilot 845 in Vermilion, which I have my eye on. I really like the look of that. And some ink, which is, uh, there's not usually a whole lot of ink, but what he has is usually very interesting. So we got like, the original like ultramarines and epinards here from Sailor. 
We got some uh, some pilots. We got some pelicans. Some Mont Blanc. Some little Parker there. All manner of things. Then let's go back this way. Turn around. Oh man, I, this stuff wasn't here. I don't think when I came through earlier. Uh, more piles of paper. Just bins. Looking for a bin of field notes. This is the way to go. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. She bamboozled me. She bamboozled you? Yeah, she bamboozled me. I saw she got a pen. Yeah, she's so excited about it. Yeah, she really is. Yeah, she's so excited. <laughs> there you go. Ah, it's Federalist Frank. Howdy. Ah, I don't have a spare elbow. <laughs> He's got just going for bins back here. Uh, yep. Yeah. How'd you like it? Pretty fine. Good. Yeah. yeah it's, it's well, well received. Yep. Right on. <laughs> Come and shuffle through his bins. <laughs> Tiny bottles of Colorverse. Look how wee those things are. <laughs> really the first show where these debuted. Because they came out last summer, you know, but yeah, right. we haven't had a show. So yeah. yeah. Yep. Pin cases, modern pens, there's Mark. <laughs> Pardon me. We have, some, uh, we have some Nick Pang tables. Nick is never at his table. He is uh, currently teaching copper plate. So uh, we've been making sure that nobody walked off with whole bins of things. But he's rocking um, all kinds of vintage stuff underneath these tarps, as well as some uh, really nice dip pin holders. This is my table. Phyllis over here is uh, sharing my table with me this time. She's keeping things, uh, keeping things cool. How's it been going? Selling anything since I've been here? Uh, not since you left. We had some great folks coming by to look at your pinholders. Oh, it's good. Great. So, good. Phyllis has a whole bunch of stuff here from her collection, including some very nice sailors and Viscontis and such, as well as some uh, just bonkers custom knives. Including there's a pelican case back there full of them as well. So if you want to come talk knives, come talk to Phyllis. She knows what's up. I mean, it's a really good ALOX. I like that. Where these shine, the colors are always so different. Yeah. And they're handy knives to have. They really do work. Yep. For sure. And of course, they have an orange. So I'm going to have to take a look at some of those orange ones. <laughs> uh, I'm selling a few things. I got a few pins from my collection. And Audrey's collection. I have some uh, a whole bunch of nail polish from Audrey's nail polish collection that we're trying to get out, get rid of. Uh, I've got uh, like some random uh, gel pens and stuff. You can see why the, you can see why the two of us are sharing a table. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you may have seen Phyllis in the chat. She goes by PB Pickett on the YouTubes. Uh, and of course, selling my uh, my pen rests. These are polymer clay. The nibs with. Mr. Nose and my faces on them are here available as well. I have my nib pins. Are Brian's parallels gone yet? Uh, I don't know what he's got in his pocket. Uh, the two that are on my table have stayed here. Nobody's picked them up yet, but uh, the weekend is young. There's Nick. He showed up. He's like, maybe I'll hang out at my table for a minute. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe available or whatever. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Then right next to us, we've got John, who has these very cool banks made out of, uh, are these uh, college lock boxes? Like college mailboxes? Yes, college mailboxes. They look just like my mailbox in college. It's a little more older from the early 1900s with the combinations on them. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely had the letters. Okay. That was, uh, I think we might have had a letter and a number okay. on our wheel. Oh, then you're older than, than most of the college banks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes very cool banks out of these things. It comes with keys. And you have the combinations for these, I yes, assume. Yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> but you can cram your cash in there and then see it through the window. Very neat. Dip pen holders, desk pen holders. Fantasy snorkels. And this is a new line of diamond cast that I just started doing oh, recently. These are, these are snorkels? Yeah, snorkels. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so so snorkels and diamond cast. Wow. So are you using the like original in innards of yes. a snorkel oh, yeah. and then yep. building a body around them? Yep. Well, the original in internal components, original oh. nibs, all the feet sections, and then 
I restore and recondition all the in internal components and recondition all the nibs. So you have a 70-year-old vintage internal parts that are all restored mm -hmm. on brand new bodies. Very cool. That's neat. Very nice. So I have you know, regular acrylics, the diamond cast, and I also do demonstrators. Oh yeah, there you go. Because watching a snorkel work is really interesting. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a, cool a, cool, a cool mechanism. Great. So come find John, he's right next to us. Thank you. <laughs> of course. And of course you can grab some, uh, some of these uh, pen mats. These are awesome to trim down and make pen holders out of any drawer or whatever. Uh, Snorkels the Bodies comes to SF. I don't actually know if he is or not. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here you go. You can find him online at uh, fantasysnorkel.com right there on that card. So check that out. Yeah. I have some folks asking if you're coming to uh, San Francisco. Yeah? Yeah, he's coming to San Francisco, so you'll find him there. Right on. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Hi, folks. So in addition to pin mats and such, from Gary, you can find uh, all kinds of, oh, like vintage pelicans and such. Some very nice overlays, some Parkers, some Waterman. Looks good. Very cool. And then we're back to Deb's area over here. Getting toward the back of the room. It's a fairly small show as these things go. It's only about 70 tables, and uh, some people haven't gotten here yet. Like Ken Rose got two or three tables back here. Uh, they haven't gotten in yet. I'm not sure if they're coming. I haven't heard from Carrie. I'll have to ask. Here we have uh, John. John's got a bunch of pencils or something. I don't know. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> John's got, uh, if you want a pencil lead, man, this guy has got the graphite for you in every size. He's got this legendary lead company. Exotic stuff. Exotica. Mighty 73s. He's got all the things, including books and such of his, uh, his blog about pencils. You can apparently buy some scotch here at the table. Uh. <laughs> Be nice. Yeah. We give you a oh, I don't know how to do that. Sorry. I know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here are other kinds of pencils underneath the underneath the glass. All manner of mechanicals. Oh, awesome. Uh, we lost John Hall. What was that like two months ago? Really is, yeah. Yeah, John Hall was a good dude. You probably saw him uh, motoring around, uh, maybe running over a toe in his rascal. He was himself a rascal, for sure. We'll miss him. And David Nishimura, this dude right here, has a table next to him. All manner of vintage to come and peruse. Whoa. What are these Chinese finger trap looking things here? Those are um, some pretty unusual English Morden silver and enamel two-ended port crayons. So, or cedar pencil holders. Huh. So there you have it. I mean, you know, Premier Maker, if you feel them, they're really heavy as well. And what's really extraordinary, I mean, this is usually considered to be a large one. And these are just enormous. They're ones you just never, never see. They're wow. so, so large. Yeah, that so, is very special. Wow. I got these out of uh, when I bought a collection from a fellow who'd been, you know, really a serious European collector for, I don't know, 20 years, you know, chasing down these things. So, those are pretty neat. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen those before. I can't very say cool. I've seen many either. <laughs> See, that's why you come to a pin show. You never know what you're going to find. You never know. Thanks, David. <laughs> and then uh, this is Papier Plume's area here. They have a couple of tables. There's uh, Papier Plume over here. He's uh, just hanging out, chatting instead of doing his job. Tisk tisk tisk. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. You can find the show ink here. Uh, Carolina in my mind. You saw me review not too long ago. There you go. It's also got Sazerac, uh, Desire, which I really like a lot. I think that's a beautiful ink. 
as well as some of the others. Bayou Nightfall is a very interesting light ink for those of you who like those uh, multi-chrome kind of inks. This is like kind of a green, but also kind of a gray, but also kind of a, I don't know what else, bronze kind of. It's really nice. Yeah, they do have good sealing wax as well. And they have some other stuff that you're not going to find anywhere else because they get a lot of good French pens uh, that you just don't find elsewhere. Uh, I'm not sure what these big uh, wooden pens are, but they look really cool. I'll have to ask them. Hey, man, what can you tell me about these wooden pens that are right here? These are made by a French uh, bespoke pen maker. He only makes one of a kind pens. Yeah. Uh, he's only made, well, he's made one series of pens and I'll show you that. Uh, but this is the, the Alexander Dubac Operatums. Uh, they're, he's made five of the same body, but they're all made of different woods. Yeah. Uh, so like this was made out of rosewood, cocobolo, uh, Let's get that one, pottery, and then uh, and last one. Wood. Oh, snake wood. Yeah, the last one yeah. is snake wood. Yeah. Uh, they have a uh, they have 18 karat gold uh, Joe nibs on them. Let me take a look at that. I believe they're all two tone. Um, cool. And then uh, he also makes arushi pens. So he made these arushis as well. Um, like the powder, the gold dust, and the uh, yeah. Ruin it. But uh, this one is a, a limited edition pen he made for us about two years ago. Uh, it's called the La Fletch. It has this very long cap. It's called, uh, La Fletch means the arrow. Oh, I see. Uh, so it has its quiver. Right. Uh, uh, and he's made, he made seven of these. And I have about three or four left. That's really interesting. Thanks, James. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, oh, they also have sealing wax. I think you're probably the only people that bring sealing wax to pin shows, which is uh, that's a good niche. So grab some sealing wax if you come in, and also maybe some seals. I've gotten, seals make me actually write letters, <laughs> which is, I think, a good reason to buy a wax seal, because then I want to I wanna use it. I'm not going to use it on my own stuff. I'll use it on somebody else's letter. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks very much, James. And uh, going down here, we got all the nib. Damien is missing, but he's doing nib grinds over here at this whole setup. Looks very clean with his own banner and such. Hey, folks, doing well, thanks. Doing a little live YouTube walkthrough of the, sp oh, the pin awesome. show. Hey, everyone. Oh, the Heimdall. Welcome. This is Signature Pin Co. Oh, okay. Wait. So you know yep, good. I thought I saw yeah. that. Signature <laughs> Pin Company. <laughs> right on. Thanks, Mike. You want to tell folks a little bit about what you're doing? Yeah, so right now, uh, Miss Addison here is uh, purchasing uh, two of our um, Phoenix Bespoke pins. Right now, she's uh, one of them is an uh, Arctic uh, Ice by uh, Blank Maker Bob DeFrost and Ocean Snady uh, by uh, Blank Maker uh, Bob DeFrost, too. So. Very nice. So you have a variety of sort of uh, like handmade and kit pens going on? Yeah, so we are uh, we do a lot of our, we have, uh, you know, the bespoke, and then we have a lot of our uh, component pens. Uh, and they're the Aaron pens, George, and the Deacon pens, and watch parts, and abalone. Uh, and then we also have some ballpoint pens as well for people who, you know, want, we've got something yeah, sure. for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much, John. Take care. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We've got the Heinz pens. They're doing some talking here. They make pens down in uh, down in Dallas area, Dallas Fort Worth area. <laughs> Never write with an ugly pen. Ask me about my nibs. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? This is Francisco. Oh my gosh, uh, no, not really. No, nobody watches this. It's fine. <laughs> we got, <laughs> we got uh, Divine Island Design here. More, uh, more handmade pens, custom, and uh, as he said, uh, part pens, like kit pen sort of situations. Let's have a nice, uh, nice bright aesthetic. Very nice. This is Braxton of the. Uh, what, are, what are you? What are you modeling for us, Jim? Oh, I see. Very nice. 
Point Sienna. Point Sienna. It's called the Point Sienna. I was pointing the micro. I was pointing the microphone in the wrong direction. So. Pretty cool. I've been eyeballing this for quite a while. And we're gonna leave it on display for him, but that's coming home with you. So uh, everybody, come by and uh, touch that pin. Uh, I've been vaccinated. Okay. <laughs> There you go. And some rickshaw sleeves to coordinate. You got some color coordination going on here. Very nice. Thanks. Do you have a website? Yes, sir. Is, there, is it on here, probably? Yep. There you go. Y'all can find that and contact him if you can't make it to the show. Thanks very much. Yep. Got, uh... <laughs> you were down here talking. I can't go by. <laughs> we got uh, the ASC area down in here. The Armando Simone Club. You can find all kinds of all kinds of interesting uh, pins and such. Some ink windows. I'm glad you like the pin show tour, Ruth. I like doing these. It's always fun. There's Manu who owns the company. We have some, uh, looks like we have some, uh, some nibs.com stuff, some uh, Namiki pens, et cetera, here. We have some Conway Stewart. We got some Oldwin. And then uh, we got Franklin Kristoff over here. Oh, Scott's back. He decided to come back in. That's still here. Yeah, that pen is still here. It's so Audrey. sparkly. It's very sparkly. It did actually. It's been doing pretty good. It's actually focusing well. I think YouTube did some stuff since the last year when I did one of these on my phone. Right. So this is where Audrey does uh, sets up all the nibs and such. They're uh, not having people. Pen sitting there. You want to show it off to people? I don't care. Audrey got a new pen. It's not a Franklin Kristoff, but I think Scott's gonna be okay with us showing it off. Uh oh! Show us the nails, says Becky. There you go. Good light shift. Okay. Nice. I couldn't tell if you could. No, I'm on it. I'm quasi professional. Ooh. This is not exciting, and it has gold hardware, which I'm not super excited about. Return which it. is fine. It's Return fine. It. But this has a cross concord on it. You guys do the influencer hands up. Uh, there we go. Uh, give us that side view, yeah. So the Cross Concord. The Cross Concord is a very, very fancy nib. It is stacked. It is ground. Look at that thing. Very nice. This is in a um, uh, uh, 1911 large body yeah. with some uh, like different hardware and such. You can see the cap band is very different and special for these uh, these fancy ones. And what is a Cross Concord? Well, we'll have to do it. Um, Oh, is there a picture? It shows all the sailor specialty nibs. Oh, good. So I can focus better, but not great. There's the regular Concord, so it doesn't have the stacking on it. Right. Here it is. Yeah. So that's what the cross Concord so looks like. Normal writing is going to be really, really thin lines. And you turn around on the opposite side, that's where the stack comes in, and you get that really thick angle, or yeah. thick line. Yep. Hopefully you can read what that says as well. I think people can. Yeah. yeah. So that's exciting. Audrey but got that today. There's, there's a lot of angles, and it is, I was showing every, everybody underneath the scope, they're like, I'm like, look at this underneath the microscope, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so my first one of these, and probably my last, I mean, who knows? <laughs> well. I hear they started making them again, though, so, you know, <laughs> maybe there will be more on the market, but uh, she is very happy with this pen. I gotta, I gotta sell some pen rests. We're not doing this. Go back to the table. <laughs> jo jo <laughs> Join our Patreon. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, it's a new, new production cross Concord that is accurate, but no, not less cool. And uh, Audrey actually has some uh, some Audrey Audrey paraphernalia. Hire keychains, please. You need to sell a lot of keychains. I 
don't have that many. Well, again, mark them up. $1,000 no. a piece. $100 a piece. Woo. 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 Such a deal. No. <laughs> coming, down the, coming down the table here. Join the Patreon. It's true. The Patreon does now have a Discord, so you can hang out with all the other patrons and me in a Discord. No, they say it's fine, actually. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. <laughs> Everyone buy an Audrey Face keychain. Well, you have to come here and do it. These are uh, these are Arushi. Uh, they're Makie. All the fancy stuff they've done in the past. Here's some. Uh, color prototypes and such here on the table. Uh, they're doing it so that there is a, uh, a bin up here. So if you've been handling pens and hanging out with them, uh, you throw them in the bin and they will sanitize them and throw them back out on the table. So everything is a little bit safer. There's some more. I think that's some really nice uh, prototypes. I really like this one right, right here, this yellow and like bronze one. I dig that 20 a lot. Some orange crush. Some lull 20s. Ah, the 50. Is that the one I gave back to you? No, this is my personal one. Uh. <laughs> Y'all can check out the 50 review on my site. It is, uh, it is an excellent review if I say so. Yeah, so the best. My best review. So, uh, <laughs> so, do you have 50s? Uh, no, I gave the pin back too. Yeah, no, I. I really, uh, I really got the short end of the stick on that one. We have one left today. So All right, more fifties tomorrow. There's only one left on the table today. Some more protos. I am shocked that this red, and orange, and yellow uh, 19 is here. That is gorgeous. Also, I haven't catch it in the camera, but there's a lot of glitter in the bands on this white one as well. Some 31s there on the table. Some of the 46 extras. Oh, I got some fancy panthers out here on the table. Look at this uh, orange and white panthers, orange and smoke panthers. So many panther. We got these guys whose number I always forget. We got some 66s on the table here. We got some of the mechanical pencils. We got the one lone 50 left. These are IPO. Get them while they're hot. Some smaller ones, 45s, 45 longs, 66s. I know, I'm liking the contrasting ones as well. So they have names. Well, they do have names and not numbers. I also forget the name of that one. I want to say it's like the Abditus or something like that. It's in Latin, and uh, I don't have that model, so I often forget it. Um, oh, 33 sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right, Dapper Man. Thanks. Uh, I have one of these, uh, this 55 with the aluminum uh, barrel, and that pen is a joy to use. I really like the metal weight in there. <laughs> hey, folks. There's Mandy carousing. Uh huh. Well, you know, you're pretty. You're, you're pretty close to Barry here. Uh, so, you know. Lisa's, Lisa's just hanging out in the back. <laughs> Lisa doesn't want to be on video. I know Lisa. <laughs> we got all kinds of pins here. Some cigar pins. Barry's uh, smoking and or writing with a cigar. They make lovely gifts. Nicely displayed there in an ashtray. Good. Yeah. <laughs> The last one of the moon pens. A little close up on that one. And they were made with actual wood that was taking, well, seeds that were taken up to the moon and brought back. Oh, is that what's going on with yep. that? That's yep. Cool. And the tree was destroyed in Hurricane Irma, and we got a piece of it. I made a pen, donated it back to um, NASA, so they have one there. <laughs> then we've got surgical knife pens, we've got shark vertebrae, seashells watch parts and I'm the original watch part guy the original watch part guy oh yeah
There you go. Were there skulls? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, throwing shade from the back of the room here. <laughs> Why not? I, that was the first. There you go. Some dragon scale pens. You know, something kind of medieval looking. Made with um, polymer clay. Oh, right on. Yep. That's cool. You can find Barry, the original watch parts guy. <laughs> Take care. We've got uh, Martin's Pins 51 back here. In the back, there's Martin himself. He's doing repair. He's selling cool vanishing points that you're not going to find elsewhere. Along with uh, lots of modern and other things of that nature. We have some Estabrooks, new and old both. Uh, but come see Martin. Let him do some repair. Guy does really good work. And... Uh, that's kind of it, folks. So that's uh, that's the pin show. Do I want to see something? Do you have something cool? All right, what do you got? It's only a pencil. That's fine. I've seen some cool pencils. That sounds like dark. So tell us about, oh, it's a little Tiffany, huh? It is a Tiffany. This is the Metropolitan Life Building in New York, which was completed, I think, 1909. And, ta-da! Oh, nice. <laughs> Fully marked Tiffany. I've been chasing one of these for years. Right on. Uh, yep. Look at that smile. That's the guy who just found his favorite pencil. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the chase is one of the best parts, you know? It is. Yeah. I just, uh, you just uh, pick it in. Pack it in. No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, yeah, this has been the pen show, and uh, yeah, John Veely's always got some interesting pen pencils. He and uh, he and Joe both. So, uh, it's a uh, it's a smallish show this year, but uh, pretty interesting. Uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. You got your modern. You got your vintage. Some of the bigger modern modern vendors uh, didn't make it this year. So like. Uh, Van S is moving buildings, and Anderson is doing some other stuff and couldn't make it to the show, and uh, uh, you know, you got some people missing. But um, you know, I think there's a lot here to see. So I think it's like ten bucks for the weekend or something. So definitely, uh, definitely a good deal to come out and say hi, and uh, you know, find some stuff you haven't seen before, perhaps. So thank you very much for hanging out, and uh, I'm gonna put my arm down because believe it or not. Just holding up this, this camera for like an hour is, uh, it's work, y'all. So hit that like, like and subscribe thing. Uh, hit up my Patreon if you uh, want to join our Discord. You can get in there for a buck a month and, uh, you know, chat with all of us uh, pen and ink nerds. And uh, I will see y'all next week. Bye, everybody.